Hi guys, welcome to my booktube channel. My name is Chetna and I make book related videos on this channel. So if you love reading, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna read and review a book. Uh, so this is the most impromptu video that I'm shooting right now uh, because I just decided to shoot this 10 minutes ago. And yes, here I am. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Uh, anyways, um, the book that I'm talking about, uh, I just purchased it two days ago. And it's the most beautiful book on my bookshelf uh, that I have bought. So the book that I'm talking about is this, uh, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. Uh, and it's a very famous book uh, and it is a children's literature. But I have heard that it is meant for adults. Uh, it has so many life lessons in it. And yeah, I'm super excited to read. And plus the illustrations are so, so beautiful. Like, so yeah, I'll start reading and then afterwards I'll share my thoughts about it. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you, and love brings you home. I think everyone is just trying to be home, said the mole. Everyone is a bit scared, said the horse. But we are less scared together. Tears fall for a reason, and they are your strength, not weakness. When have you been at your strongest, asked the boy when I have dared to show my weakness. Asking for help isn't giving up, said the horse. It's refusing to give up. I have discovered something better than the cake. No, you haven't, said the boy. I have, replied the mole. What is it? A hug. It lasts longer. Sometimes, said the horse. Sometimes what? asked the boy. Sometimes just getting up and carrying on is brave and magnificent. Okay, so this one is again my favorite. Um, so the boy, the horse and the mole, uh, they are standing near a lake and they see a pair of swans. So it goes like, um, how do they look so together and perfect? Asked the boy. There's a lot of frantic paddling going on beneath, said the horse. The greatest illusion, said the mole, is that life should be perfect. Uh, and then uh, the author writes like a note, mm -hmm. uh, my dog walked over the paint, uh, drawing, clearly trying to make the point. So the next part is really uh, relatable to me. The fox never really speaks, whispered the boy. No, and it's lovely he is with us said the horse to be honest i often feel i have nothing interesting to say said the fox being honest is always interesting said the horse uh, so yeah uh, being an introvert i could uh, really uh, <laughs> see myself as that fox <laughs> in every social situation um, but yeah i think we all need that horse who you know understands and um yeah it's okay it's, it's very nice and this last one is so sweet um home isn't always a place is it uh so i have finished reading this book uh just now and i loved it uh, so it took me just 10 to 15 minutes to read it uh, but the thing is i read it again so i have read it twice and i also want to read it again it is that good uh, and comforting uh, so yeah basically uh, it is like a collection of quotes and like 
collection of conversations. Uh, so obviously there are these four characters, the boy, the mole, the fox and the horse. Uh, so they meet each other uh, in this um, wild forest sort of and they are you know traveling and in their journey they have all sort of uh, all sort of conversations and yeah it's that simple it isn't you know it doesn't has any story or plot or anything so talking about the characters uh, there are four characters the boy the mole the fox and the horse uh, so the boy is um, the curious one he has a lot of questions and he constantly asks them and the mole and the horse usually answers uh, those and the mole is the funny one uh, he loves to eat the cake and so there are certain jokes related to that uh, the fox is the silent one uh, he doesn't speak much uh, but yeah he is there with them all the time and the horse is the biggest of them all but yeah he is very gentle and full of wisdom uh, so yeah uh, all in all these are like four friends who have you know conversations they talk about their strengths and weaknesses uh, they talk about uh, you know they comfort each other uh, uh, so the writing is very very simple uh, as you can see the font again is very beautiful uh, there are hardly two three lines on each page uh, but uh, the thing is once you read them uh, you would you know find them very relatable and you will realize that it has a very deep meaning and that uh, I think you will relate to if you are an adult uh, then only and the best part about this book is that it can be read by anyone uh, although this is a children's book but I really feel like uh, it should be read by adults as well uh, and yeah uh, it's a very good option uh, for gift I think uh, even if the other person is not a reader you can give them this uh, and it will you know bring a very big smile on their face uh, because the all the time like the first time I was reading this book I just couldn't stop smiling uh, it's that comforting and very warm uh, so all in all I think this book will give you so much of positivity and it will uh, you know teach you to love yourself believe you in yourself don't be hard on yourself uh, and yeah it will give you so many perspectives I am sure about it and so yeah uh, I don't think I have reviewed this book <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there is nothing that anyone can dislike about this book. Um, I'm pretty damn sure. Um, so yeah, uh, that were my thoughts about this book. Uh, if you have watched this video till here, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yes, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.